Hello, orchid friends! Can cattleya buds get stuck in their sheath? In case you don't already know, yes they can, and that is what happened to me. Usually the buds can handle their sheath alone. There are some cattleyas that produce heavy flowers that need their sheaths. If you open them just out of curiosity, the sheath won't be able to sustain the spike and that's not what you want. But if you have the feeling there is something wrong or you see with your pocket lamp that the flower spike is bending inside the sheath because the buds cannot break through, help them carefully. I don't know why it happened. It must have something to do with the conditions, wrong watering or poor lighting, but it's very hard for me to tell. Now here is my beloved Cattleya cross from Cattleya Pamela Hetherington and BLC Jewelers Art. In the beginning everything looked fine. The sheath was as small as last year, the buds would break through in the end, wouldn't they? Actually no. This year the predetermined splitting point of the sheath did not open, the buds couldn't get through. And when I brought myself to help the buds it was too late. One bud pointed to the floor and its little spike was completely distorted. And the other bird seemed to open before it was properly developed. It looked like a mess. I had given up hope on those two. The plant would let them dry out, I thought. But no, that wasn't the case. My brave Cattleya didn't give up. The flower with the distorted spike was too damaged. But look how the other bird developed. And at some point the petals even started to unfold. Not bad. I never thought it would come that far. And two days later I looked at her again. And what did I see? Suddenly I saw this beautiful peach colored flower. Can you believe that this bud became this flower in only five days? I'm so happy with that. The flower looks almost as beautiful as last year. And it smells like roses. Very old school English roses. Or a heavy perfume of an English gentlewoman. The next day the flower turned from a peach to a strong pink and I can't take my eyes off her. It's the highlight of my orchid year. Of all the orchids that I have, this is my favorite and most cherished one. And that was the story how this ugly duckling bud became a swan. I hope you liked the video, thanks very much for watching and until next time.